Hey YouTube, I'm back. I uh, apologize guys, I've been gone for a while. I haven't made any reviews. I haven't had any videos posted. Uh, and I'm really sorry about that. I noticed I have a lot of, well, not a lot, but I, there's about 30 or 40 of you guys now that subscribe to my channel. And uh, I want to keep you guys entertained. So uh, I apologize once again. But what I got here for you guys today... This is this is really special to me. Uh, this just came in uh, about a week ago. This is a M and P nine. Now, why is this one different? If you guys notice, there are some serrations up here. If you guys notice that, uh, this was done from uh, ATEI uh, Doug up there at ATEI. Uh, it's a company out in Michigan who does this. Uh, I've seen some of their work from uh, Chris Costa videos uh, in magazines. Uh, now, a lot of people are going to think, oh, you're a Chris Costa fanboy or uh, Travis Haley, all them guys. No, I'm a big fan of the M&P, and I really I like front cocking serrations. I really do. Uh, I train a lot, and uh, one-handed manipulation drills and press checks, and uh, that kind of has me written all over it. Now, I usually run a uh, SIG 226 Extreme or uh, TAC Ops. Uh, it all depends, but uh, those have front cocking serrations, and it's just something I'm used to. Uh, it doesn't need to be there, but uh, I prefer them. And another thing, he added these serrations up on top. Now, a lot of people are saying that's just cosmetics. It's uh, it doesn't help you with anything. It's not gonna it's not gonna do nothing. It's just there to be there. I disagree. Uh, like I told you guys, I do a lot of one-handed manipulation drills, and these uh, when you're racking the slide with one hand off your jeans, uh, your belt, your shoe, your opponent uh, your enemy's forehead whatever uh it's basically done by your by your sights uh these are 108 sights uh the hook is not good on these i'm going to be honest they're they're nice uh don't get me wrong they'll do the job uh but i prefer a little bit higher uh sight to get a little bit more leverage so these will they're they are so sharp guys they will catch on your clothes, on your jeans. It's it's absolutely ridiculous on how effective these serrations are on top. I didn't think they were going to do that good a job. I could rack this slide from just the palm of my hand. I could absolutely rack the whole thing if I wanted. And and that's what my palm of my hand. My hands are sweaty and and it's it's ridiculous. With my thumb, if I really wanted, I mean, look at that. That's crazy. Um, press checks, it's not there on both sides. You just uh, stipple. Uh, job was done by me, actually. Uh, I thought I did a good job. This is one of my uh, better ones. Uh, I undercut the trigger guard, uh, stippled underneath there, uh, made another index point for my uh, for my index finger to get a little bit more traction when I'm firing. Added the Surefire X300. This one is a little bit used, as you guys can see. Uh, comes with a threaded barrel. Um, yes, my can is on its way. I am my suppressor is uh, a month away, so. Uh, this M&P9, uh, M&P9, I was about to say M&P9C, this M&P9 came with a uh, standard barrel as well. Let's talk about the sights. Uh, the 10.8 sights, uh, these are fiber optic uh, with the U-notch rear. Uh, I dinged them up a little bit, like I told you guys, a lot of one-handed manipulation drills. I can't, I can't stress enough how much that helps when you train uh with one hand it i maybe i just maybe i'm just crazy i like training that way but uh it also has a apex trigger in it uh well it doesn't have a lot of apex parts but it has the uh 
hard sear and uh, the plunger, uh, safety plunger, I think. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty stock. I, I don't like my triggers to be really, really light. Uh, four and a half uh, will probably be about the lowest I'll go. Uh, as long as it's crisp, I don't care if it's 10 pounds. This one is... Doug does a real good job uh, with his triggers, so I'll let you guys get a listen. There's a little bit of play, not much. But the reset, I'll, I'll let you guys hear it. It does not have the, uh, the RAM, and I'll tell you why here in a minute. Why it does not have the RAM is because of that right there, that little notch. Uh, this model uh, can have a safety, an external safety, and because of that, uh, this model cannot accept Apex's RAM to give you that tactile reset. So, uh, they do not have a model made for this M&P yet. Uh, soon they uh, will be coming out with one I do not know when but they will so that's why this one does not have it if they had one it would definitely be in here um, uh, I'm a big Glock fan and one of the reasons why I like the Glock so much is because of their reset um, other than that guys uh, I, the real reason why I'm making this video is I have not seen anybody reviewing any of Doug's work on YouTube, uh, this is a pretty close, in-depth uh, view of the serrations with some decent quality camera. It's not the best, but at least you guys will get to see it a little up close and personal. I'm gonna shut up and give you guys some close-ups of everything so you guys can get an idea. Um, their stipple job, uh, Doug also does that uh, by a guy next door to him, uh, Joey at Divers Diversified Concepts. Shit, my light just went out. Uh, give him a shout, guys, and uh, Doug will take care of you. He's a real good guy. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, hit me up in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you guys. And feels good to be back can't wait to be doing some more reviews with you guys so keep subscribing like and until next time bye